A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. When we're two balloons and together our direction is up, chances are we've found the right person. Our soulmate is one who makes life come to life. May this ceremony provide you with wonderful memories to look back on and treasure for the rest of your days. It was at the U in Michaela's freshman year that she decided to become a mortician. It also was when she met a cute little boy with big fluffy hair. <laughs> Your hair is fluffy! Um, named Russell. I remember very clearly Michaela came home from the U for Christmas vacation. On New Year's Eve, she asked us if she could go to the college fraternity and play video games with a boy. Of course I said no. I mean, as a mother, the last thing I wanted to do was my daughter to go to a fraternity on New Year's Eve by herself to hang out with a frat boy. The images in my head were so very, very frightening. <laughs> but after that night, I learned that Michaela's college bestie, Tony, was friends with Russell, and Russell would come to see Tony to get his laundry done because it was free. <laughs> and the rest is history. Tony, you have been an amazing friend to Michaela, and we love that you are part of Michaela and Russell's love story. Russell, we are so happy that Michaela found a partner who is loving, caring, responsible, honest, and shares all the things that she loves. You might think that this is a wedding, but this is actually your intervention. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say, but we all love and support you in this room for your addiction, for loving one another. So, I just have to say, there's never been a stronger bond that I've ever met with two different friends, um, and I've gotten to see the journey from the very start to today, and I'm so immensely proud and happy for them, and I would say I am not the person that I am today had I not met Russell or Michaela. Um, they've constantly been patient, they've been kind, and even when Russell's been on a 15-hour work bender, and I'm having an emotional breakdown, he would even have time to like sit there and type me a nice long page of an email to help me sort out my thoughts. So, so let's fast forward a few years, and Russell and Michaela have been together for some time, and by this point we've been pretty good friends, but what really changed everything was when the four of us, me, Russell, Michaela, and my now husband, Otis, decided to all live together. What started as a convenient way to split the cheapest rent you could find in the Twin Cities morphed into some of the best years of my life. Over the four years that we lived together at the Butternut House, Russell and Michaela became our family. And that meant we cooked dinners together, we laughed and we danced in the kitchen, we hosted chili cook-offs and cocktail parties where all the drinks were inspired by powerful women. We freaked out the neighbors when we would hula hoop and play with bubbles and glow toys in the backyard. We pretended to be hipsters by exchanging vinyl records and craft beers. We went on vacations together and we built relationships with each other's actual families. It has been said that I played a large role in bringing these two together, but I can honestly say that it's truly hard to tell exactly when and how that happened. <laughs> You'd have to ask them. Uh, it has been, oh yeah, oh, what I can say is that I am grateful that it did happen. Whether we're dancing at music festivals or sipping Dream Yard IPAs downtown Minneapolis, I've made some of my favorite memories with the two of you. 
You have introduced me to many amazing people, and we have adventured to some very amazing places together. There is so much more that could be said about Russell and Michaela, but I have decided to keep things short. Cheers to the roller coaster of memories that have led us here today. And cheers to the memories that the two of you will create in this next chapter of your life together. Thank you. That's the best I could come up with. That was beautiful. Russell and Michaela have chosen to perform a wine box love letter ceremony. In the box will be a bottle of wine, two glasses, and a love letter that each has written for the other. The letters are individually sealed and neither has seen what the other has written. They've created their very own romantic time capsule to be shared on their first wedding anniversary. On their first anniversary, they'll open the box, read the letters, pop open the bottle of wine and celebrate. And then they can write new letters and, and add a new bottle of wine and repeat that ceremony each year. However, Russell and Michaela, I recommend that you keep this box in a prominent location and a place of honor in your home as a constant reminder of the commitment you have to each other. And should your marriage ever face any insurmountable hardships, you should sit and drink the wine together and then separate and read the letters and reflect on the reasons you fell in love and the reasons you chose to marry here today. Michaela, when I am with you, everything else is moved into the background. You flood my senses. <clears throat> you are my life, my greatest gift. I promise to learn from you day by day in all things with faithfulness and love. I vow that you shall be the most important person in my life above all others and that no one will ever stand between us. I vow to laugh for real at every joke no matter how stupid or poorly told. <laughs> <laughs> I love you that much. Whatever happens in our lives together every day that we are together will be the greatest day in my life. I love you to death. Russell, I love how goofy our love is. I love that we don't take life too seriously. I love that we're always up for a good adventure. And I love it when we dance. For our future together, I promise to be your biggest cheerleader. Because I do believe that you can reach your wildest dreams. I promise to listen and communicate. Because the best partners in crime have a clear game plan. <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally, to never go to bed angry, and to tell you I love you multiple times a day. <laughs> um, you are my best friend, and I will strive to be the best wife ever. <laughs> a lifetime isn't enough. Love you too. Russell, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Russell and Michaela, may you enjoy a lifetime of sunrises and sunsets together. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present for the first time as husband and wife, Russell and Michaela. Over the night, we walk out.